Hi, it's Wednesday. So we are all about keeping that core nice and tight today. Got some functional moves. Predominantly, it's going to attack the core, but we are still working full body. So as yesterday, you've got a cardio or a strength component that you can do. This is your cardio component. You're going to go onto the floor, nice straight body line, making sure that you're not doing this with your shoulders, straight shoulders. You're going to jump out, in, keeping your bum down. I don't want to see this. Not what I want to see. Keeping a straight body line, bring your knees in and back, out and back. Looks so easy, right? <laughs> Those of you that have done hip max before will know that the easiest ones are normally the toughest by the last round. So that's your cardio component. The strength component, if you want to mix it up, uh, is um, weight swings. So two weights, making sure, nice straight body line, you're gonna come up. So it's just a swing, but we're splitting the weights. What I need you to do is I need you to make sure that you're using your hips. You go back and you drive forward with the hips. Then come nice and tall in the body and that's your finishing line. Your arms are a secondary. It's all in the hips, okay? So swings are your strength component. So pick which one you wanna do. Are you ready for Wednesdays? How are you feeling? We don't have hump days here. We work hard. So you go back to Monday, you get that smashed out, you do Tuesday, and then you get this one done. If you are feeling tired, all I need you to do is get this workout smashed. That's it. Go to your max, push yourself as hard as you can. It's 12 minutes. I know you've got this. I know you have got this. It's all up here. I'm your gym partner, you're my gym partner. Remember the deal. Real time, in the living room, seeing changes. You ready? 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Pick your workout. What are you doing, strength or cardio? I've given you a choice. Uh-oh, it's on, it's on. Eight seconds, seven, six, fives, fours, twos. Last one, you're gonna do a push-up, opposite knee touch. So that is your next move. What have you picked to do? Are you doing jumps in and out? If you are, are your abs in? 37 seconds. You've got this. Put, should go down. Opposite knee touch. Remember, you can always put your knees on the floor if your arms are tired from yesterday. But try not to. I know your arms are tired. I know. I'm right there with you. Down. Mix your push-ups up. Go into wide, go into narrow. It makes it a lot easier. Uh, 10 seconds. Uh, I know your arms are tired from yesterday, but try to stay on your toes. Five, four, three, two. Yeah, right to the beep. Arms are dead. Right, keep going. Ready? Stay focused. Three, two, last one. Jump out, jump in. Nice, simple move. But we're working the core, keeping the ass down. You pull your abs in and you breathe and you stay in that plank. Remember, you can always mix this up for swings. You should be doing push up with a knee touch. So by the time you get to this, just like me, your shoulders are going to be on fire. We've only got 20 seconds left. So what you got? Show me. Show me how strong you are. 15 seconds. Come on, push. 12. 10. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Awesome job. Ready? Wide leg, half burpee. Let me see your planks. So we're moving in a completely different way. This is obliques. You keep your ass down and you bring those feet as close and your knees as close to your elbows as you can. Come all the way up. Come on, push. I know your legs are tired. I know your abs are probably on fire. Wait till you do these. Whoo! You know it. We are bringing it. Wednesday hump day, oh no, we go hard. Because I've got long legs, I find these really awkward. 
That doesn't stop me. Oh, ten. My legs are dead. Five. Oh, three. Two. Oh, oh, I just need to stand up. Shake it out. Oh, God, you'll feel that. Enjoy that one. I went to the beep, so so will you. Let's go. You've got to pull your core in. you got to go. It's 50 seconds, less than a minute. I know you're strong enough to do this. Core work. Core work. 30 seconds. Hands are slipping. My shoulders are feeling this. My abs are feeling this. My legs are feeling this. That means I'm working. And I want it. I want changes. I want to make you feel sexy. I want you to go into the new year in the best shape of your life. So go. Five seconds. Come on, boy. Time. I'm going to change it up. Always the easiest, the other hardest. That's one. So, you do knee. Shoulders are going to be on fire. That's okay. You got this. Move this around. Come on, jump. If you can't go down onto your elbow, go down onto the floor and do it this way. Okay, but try. Try to stay up on your elbow if you can. Shoulders burning. 20. You got a grit. You got a grit. You got to go. You got to push. You got to want it. Beast mode. Switch it on. Five. Enjoy that. Let me see it. I see you. Now get down and do it. Let's go. Two. Last one. My abs are switched on now. I'm feeling it now. After those two days of madness, or those two workouts you've just completed, everything is going to be feeling this. But mainly your core. Come on, push. Try and stay up on that elbow. I know your shoulders are on fire. I know they're on fire. But that's because you're working hard. So well done. You've only got 15 seconds. You have got this. Come on, push. Remember, you can always change to your swings if you need a break. And don't you want to go strength instead of cardio? It's not cheating. Strength is just as powerful as cardio. There's no cheating involved. It's a way to give your body a bit of a break but still work hard. So take the option if you need it. Let's go. If you need it, you go for it. But try to go to the end 40 seconds. You got this. 30. Oh, God. Abs on fire. Arms are on fire. Obliques are on fire. We are working. Hump day? What is a hump day? We don't do hump days. We do awesome days. You know that? Yes, yes, yes. 10 seconds. Come on. Jump a few more. A few more swings. Five seconds. Three, two, last one. I'm going to show you how to mix it up. I'm going to get some swings involved. For those of you out there that want to See how it looks? If you've only just joined us, this is how your strength is going to look. Maybe you've got a kettlebell. Maybe using a dumbbell. Maybe using a rucksack. Maybe using milk. I don't care what you use. As long as you feel it. As long as you're driving up through the core, using your abs, making it work. Come on. Come on, push. Go. Stay on that elbow if you can. Come on, a couple more. Ten seconds. Home straight. 
Never have to do it again. Five, three, two. Credit to you, that was awesome. Okay, I'm using my dip station for the next one. You might want to use your equalizers. So we go, tuck in the middle, down to the side. Come on, push. Working those obliques to go right to the side. Up. Come on, 18 seconds. Come on, you've got this. Whatever you're doing, swings or jumps. Let me see them. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, last one. Awesome job. You're nearly done. Let me see those side obliques. I don't know what you're using. If you can't do that or you don't have one of them, do two caps. Got it? Let's go. Jump out, jump in. Come on, home straight, nearly there. 30 seconds, you got this. Yes, sir, push. 20, come on, whether you're doing two cabs or obliques, or whatever ab you've chosen to do. Try to go hard, pull the abs in, and breathe. Get your mind right, get focused on these last couple of minutes being the best couple of minutes you've given me all day. Four, three, two, oh, last one. You ready? What are you choosing? Swings? No. Jumps? Yes. So, downward dog, come up, touch your opposite toe, go back. Downward dog, come up, opposite toe. Really stretching out the body. Uh, try and get a nice flow. Uh, so you stay up, position your hands, go down. Uh, come on, go, last two minutes. We got this. Wednesday is being kicked into touch. Killing it. One minute at a time. Uh, so hard to talk. And do a dive bomber. Oh, five seconds. Come on, punch. Uh, three, two. It's your last move. If you can't do that, I want you to go into a plank. I want you to come back and touch. And then walk back. Come back, touch. That's your alternative. I'm gonna finish on swings. Cause I feel like a bit of strength. Finishing on weights, makes you feel strong. I love having a bit of a mix in my workout. Come on, push. 20, five seconds. Breathe. Come on, touch your toes. Get really down, stretch your body out, and that downward dog. Come on, last 15 seconds and then we've done. 10. Four, two, last one. And we're done. Workout is over, that's Wednesday. Kicked into touch, good work. See you tomorrow if you just did Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday back to back. Awesome job. High five. Bye.